so Leanne ahead of the you know the second leg in the last 32 of the UEFA Women's Champions League. How excited are you in the squad? Yeah, really excited. Um, it's you know been a long time coming. I think for us to um, be at this stage of the season, uh, there's been a lot of games, a lot of travel. Um, we're really looking forward to Thursday night. We enjoy playing at Peter's Hill. We know that the, the crowd always you know backs us and, and gets behind us. So we're hoping that um, we'll get that same turnout again. Obviously, in terms of for this year, you, know, you won. Uh, over there, 2 0 gives you a really good chance of reaching the last 16. How proud are you of the squad and the way you're performing right now as a whole? Yeah, no, definitely. Um, we know that the away goals can be huge. Um, we were on the receiving end of the you know, the poor end of the away goals last year and that was what put us out of the competition so we knew going over to Cyprus that we had a job to do and, and the key was was to get an away goal. Um, luckily we got two which was a fantastic cushion for us to bring back on Thursday. Um, the performance from the team over there was, was outstanding um, from every player that you know was on the pitch, the whole squad, just the atmosphere that we created uh, knowing how difficult it was going to be against a very tough side. Um, everybody you know was 100% on, on the day and it was great to travel home home um, you know, with a two-goal cushion um, to take into Thursday. But we'll say it will be seen as the favourites, but a lot of people may just say, well, you won 2 nil away from home, the home leg, it'll be another comfortable victory. But having played this side, you know that they have threats and you know obviously from last year's competition anything can happen. So you will be prepared for this game. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, over there, we, you know, their captain, um, they lost her um, in the first half as well, and you don't know how much that um, affects a side. You know, that might be something that they weren't used to. Um, you don't know how much of an influence that she could have been. So they then had to play quite a, you know, large proportion of the game with ten players as well. Albeit that was levelled up in the second half, we was losing, you know, our captain as well, and and that's a huge thing. Um, but for us, we're more than prepared. Um, we know the threats uh, that they have. We got our game plan spot on over there but we know that they'll be coming here the same way we would um, if we were on the receiving end of that result they'll believe that they can come here and get a result um, so it's even more important now that we are totally focused on our job it is only half time and um, we know that we need to turn up um, and be absolutely at our best on Thursday night to make sure that we can progress to the next round. I'm not going to tempt fate and ask you if you do get to the last 16 who you'd hope for and all that kind of <laughs> stuff but I will ask you how much would it mean to you and to this club if you did reach that stage of the competition? It'd be absolutely huge. Um, I think at Glasgow City we're always, um, you know, pushing against the odds. Um, we always seem to have a little bit less than others, especially in the European stage. Um, you know, we're often the underdogs going into competitions, um, especially at this level once you come out the group stage. So for us to kick on, you know, it's been three years since we've managed to get to the the last 16. So for us, it's you know our number one task this week. Um, and I've got absolute belief in, in myself and the team that we can go on and get that job done. Obviously, away from the Champions League, you're still battling for the, the league title, still in the SSE Scottish Women's Cup. There's a lot of competitions coming up, but you know the squad that you've got here, how much belief do you have that you can go on and achieve success in all three? Yeah, no, definitely. Um, we've got a really you know strong balance this year between you know senior players and experienced players. Um, we've got young players that have come in and, and stepped up to the task You know when it's been asked of them. Um, the atmosphere around the team has been great. As a footballer, you want to play in, in competitions. You want to be there. You know, come semi-final stages, final stages, um, and for us, obviously, Champions League games as well. So, as a footballer, you know, nothing more you need, and no more incentive, um, you know, to be looking at silverware at the end of the season. And um, we hope that you know, come Thursday night, that can kick us on to, to finish the season strong. And just finally, um, obviously, you'll probably be aware of the criteria that's been launched for Scotsman's Premier League 1 and 2. Yep. As a player in this league, how excited are you to, to see that there's going to be minimum standards next year for, for all the clubs competing at this level? Yeah, no, it's fantastic. I think it's the next step um, for our game. You know, I think looking across Europe and, and the rest of the world and the way that the women's football um, is increasing and developing, you know, it's great to see Scotland are, are now pushing um, to match that criteria. Um, albeit it might be difficult in terms of finances and everything else but I, th I think the small things and, and the criteria changes that we have seen from the league um, I certainly think it's going to complement our game I would like to think it's now a brand of football that people are looking to come and watch um, I hope the environment that we create is better and more enjoyable uh, and I think for the women's game you know that can only be a positive um, I'm just thankful to still be part of it um, and you know and doing all the little bits um, off the part that we can do to, to keep promoting it